hello everyone welcome back to the maxido youtube channel we're glad to have you here today is another special edition of our how we made this and we are bringing you the details tidbits on how we made this beautiful dress we call the rapples right and then um, you get to see why it's made like a wrapper the african um, traditional wear includes wrapper for both male and female depending on the country all right and so this dress sort of mimics that it makes the wrapper or the wrapping you know uh, attire so look at that it wraps inside and then um and somewhere just beyond the waist at the back so um we made this dress you know to uh, suit a lot of occasions as a wedding guest as a bridesmaid for your parties and then depending on how you accessorize it can work even for your casual wear are you new to our channel you should totally subscribe just like we're doing now every week we bring you brand new um, tutorial videos on how we made one of our very beautiful bespoke pieces right you can find those big bespoke pieces on the instagram at uh, makisode models and also find something for weddings at makisode weddings all of these links will be in the uh, description box below so without wasting our time let's go straight to how we made this beautiful dress all right so essentially um two yarn types two different yarn types one heavier and one really light the light one is going to be used for the wrapper part while the heavier one is going to be used for the torso all right to give it that distant um and uh, sort of near opaque look right and then the um lighter yarn is used again for the collar and the sleeves right so here goes this dress we started with the wrap part all right so um we've, we've uh, some sometime late last year we started working with the shapes and that's what we've kept on so for this particular dress we worked with the semicircle we created a semicircle if you see this you see that it leads somewhere all the way to the back and then this one follows all the way to the back as well right we just inserted that there to give this semicircle this very nice uh, and different um, look and feel all right, so we started with a semicircle, right? And then we fold that semicircle. This semicircle, we made it with um, the hound's tooth stitch. Right? That's what we did with this, right? And then just this part, this part right here, we made with this um, with the hound's tooth steer stitch, right? And then we joined the semicircle such that you would have taken the measurements of this particular individual, right? So you're gonna you're gonna join that. Um, you're gonna you're gonna fold the semicircle such that a part of it a part of the uh, wrap or part of the semicircle you know forms the inner part of this wrap and then the remaining part of the semicircle wraps over and ends somewhere here like i said just beyond the arm at the back right so there when you have joined this this way you now walk up walked up with a heavier yarn so same stitch the hound stood walked up all the way to the um, armpit yeah and then to walk the armhole part you have to walk the back panel and the front panel all right so essentially that so this is what we did we just walked a little bit right and then maintain just a few stitches because we know we're going to insert this and that we didn't want uh, the, the stitch the sleeve to be too wide right and then because we also wanted to attach this part we had to keep it uh, as slim as possible so that this one would have a very would have room to also shine now after working the torso next thing we did was to work the sleeves the sleeves i worked with v-stitches v-stitches of different types the first row we alternated the first row of v-stitch is made up of um a single crochet and double crochet parted with a chain the second row we made it with both a double crochet parted with a chain so that's why it gives you this you know this very beautiful if you do that it gives you a different look and feel entirely you won't even know there are vestiges used in here and then edged it with um, chains just chains and slip stitch we did the same for the other sleeve and the same for the collar now the color of course you know you have to work it in the second mode meaning you have to work increases at some point so that they can still lie flat on the color we replicated that for edging the um the wrap 
the wrap part we use the same uh, the same type of stitches however this time around we sought to make it into ruffles hence the name ruffles <laughs> a wrapper that has ruffles exactly all right so we um we we inserted a lot more stitches you know into each cluster so that it can give it this ruffled look that's it essentially it's not difficult to replicate it's really really easy like i said stitches used a hound stood for the most part, uh, most of the body, the entire body, as a matter of fact. And then these stitches for the edging, the flaps, the collar, the sleeves, all of them V stitches, but different types of V stitches. The one with the single crochet and double crochet, and then the one with two double crochet stitches. And ended with the chains and the slip stitch, right? So it's really simple to work. Measurements, do not forget. Your bust, the bust area is usually wider. The waist to be slim the hip area just because this is going to be extending into the hip it has to be wider so take care of your measurements if you want this to hug tight you know you have to um, measure such that it's hugging tight you know and all that and then of course this part it has to take into consideration the hip and also take into consideration the fact that you want it to you know to shimmy so to speak so that is why we use the lighter type of yarn so that's it essentially on how we make this what do you think? Do you have questions and any particular parts of the video that you do not quite understand? Do let us know in the comment section below and we would um, organize for a one-on-one -on -one stitch by stitch tutorial for you, just for you. Okay, so again, go subscribe, subscribe, subscribe and have a blessed rest of the day. Bye for now.